Hello fam and welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, we're going to be discussing uh, Kim Kardashian gives um, the, ins the outsiders, meaning us, uh, a, a family view of the inside look of their Christmas Eve party with red trees and lined rooms and Saya perform for guests. Okay. I'm looking at all that red. I don't like all that red because it just brings me back to blood red. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we're going to look at it. Uh, on December 24th, the Kardashian slash Jenner family hosted the annual Christmas party. Courtney Kardashian Baker hosted this year. The party featured a ball pit and a live performance from Saya. So you, when you got kind of money like that, you can just ask the entertainers to uh, come to your shindig and you're going to pay a pretty penny for them to be there. But hey, up close and personal, that's just how the Kardashian clan get down. Okay, the Kardashian and Jenner hosted their annual Christmas party on the 24th, like I said, in uh, Courtney K uh, Kardashian Baker's Calabasas home. The sisters gave their Instagram and TikTok followers a peek at what it was like inside uh, through their stories. Okay, Chloe Kardashian, her older sister Kim, and their half sister Kylie Jenner showed off much of the party, including an impressive dessert spread, an all red ball pit with balloons hanging from the ceiling, cozy, large, like east sitting and decor, red pink Christmas trees, and a performance by singer Siam. Kim Moses' daughter, Northwest, joined Sia for a performance of the artist's song, Snowman. Yeah, that is cute, but I am trying to figure out why is Northwest got on silver heels. I mean, silver heels that a, um, what do you call it, a teenager would probably wear in 10th or 11th grade or an adult. Yes, if you look very closely at Kim's daughter, feet, you would see what I am talking about. Okay, but going back to the story that they wanted us to follow, the sisters and their kids took holiday fashion seriously, as they always do. Kendall Jenner wore a red Valentino gown, with Kylie wore a tan-covered gown by Mugler with black lace, a daring slit, and a deep v-neck and she was matching with her daughter stormy webster who was in a princess shaped version of the dress kim wore a sparkling silver gown that matched the color scheme of her daughters north and chicago west chloe shared several videos of herself and of the party set up she wore a strapless red gown that matched her daughter true dress in color and carried a judith limber bag shaped like Santa. The bag is currently on sale for nearly 5000 at Bordoff Goodman. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. And it says followers also got to look at the outdoor decorations which feature twinkling lights, decorative reindeer, more red pink trees, and a candy cart featuring sea candies. Okay. Boy, I don't know who threw this party, but kind of look kind of suspect if you give me a drill. Kind of look suspect. I ain't. I mean, I would be saying I would be remiss to say that the people that start the trends. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, who want a red Christmas tree? Who would want a red Christmas tree? I can see a white. I can see a, uh, hell, I can see uh, a pink one, but red? I mean, how are you going to really dress up red unless you put, what do you call that, white wreaths around it? Or not wreaths, but the garland that would be white. But then you're going to be looking at a hot mess, looking like a candy cane, a big-ass candy cane. So I don't know. But that's Saya, y'all. She had um, made a song or sung a song called Snowman. And uh, you see them shoes, them heels? Man, I could have got a, big, a better picture. But yeah, honey, Northwest is over there wearing high heels. And it's cute when your child's wearing them around the house to play in. But when you purposely put heels on a child, that's something totally different. Okay, totally different. But, honey, that's what she was wearing. I'm like, where can you get? Where is Kanye? 
okay? When we need him to be surfacing on the internet, talking about his kids, talking about how it's unfair, how they got their kids or his kids looking all kind of grownish when they're just children, and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, okay, we need Kanye to be springing up around here somewhere. Because I'm going to tell you, nah, I don't like. And she got on makeup, guys. She has on makeup. And I'm like, the age is, is she 10? Is she 12, 14? What, what is her age? Somebody get in the comments and tell me. But I know her looking like a grown girl or a young adult. It's what it's giving me. And you know, when you got pedophilia out here, I'm like, Kim, what are you doing with your children? And see, this is something people should be talking about and getting on Kim Kardashian about. Her child at her age ain't got no business wearing no makeup. It definitely where you can see it. I mean, she got on the blush. She got on the eyeshadow. She got her, I guess, lip matted lipstick on. Then she got on heels. I'm like, why are you? Who are you dressing her up for? Who are you dressing her up for, Kim? Because that's just a little bit too much for me and my taste. Okay, but like, who am I? Who am I? Just a concerned citizen about children. Okay, that's all I am—a concerned citizen about children and how we have these entertainers. Pimping their children out or making them look older than they are. I mean, it just don't make no sense. Now, I'm with Kanye when he's saying, don't put my daughter on no TikTok. Don't be having my daughter in racy type photos. I agree with him wholeheartedly. That's why I'm saying, where is Kanye? Where is the man, the father, the soon-to-be ex-husband? Where is the man at? Okay. When we need him to show up and show out, he goes, mom's the word. He ain't saying nothing. Or can he say anything? I don't know. Are you being held against your will, Kanye? Kanye, where you at? Where you at, man? Where you at? Because I'm telling you, it just don't make any sense. And they're supposed to be co-parenting. But yet, I'm only seeing stuff where Kim is doing, where uh, her mother, Chris, is doing trying to help them raise the kids when they don't need no help. Mm -mm. And Kim talking about co parenting is hard. I'm like, don't you, you have nannies around? What do you mean it's hard? Hard is when you ain't got no family dynamics helping you with your kid or your children, where you're doing it 24 7, seven days a week without a break. You have nannies, Kim. You have chefs uh i don't understand what the hell you're talking about but it is effing hard you're an entrepreneur that means you don't work for anybody but yourself how is that hard kim and when kanye wanted to take some of the pressure off of you and let him keep keep the kids whatever you got issues with that you're trying to publicly bury the man on all of his antics. But you're going to let. What's his name? Pete Davidson. Go out. And be with your children. Unbeknownst to Kanye. I mean. Did you not think he would find out? That's what I'm thinking. Did you not think that he would find out? Mm-hmm. And they call Kanye crazy. That's a whole different other ball game. But we need to uh, challenge and we need to critique Kim as well. I mean, all the mothers who love their children and who love the Kardashians, y'all need to be telling them, telling the Kardashian family, stop this mess. Stop having your children look older than what they are because it will be a problem later on, a problem that Kim Kardashian started. I mean, I'm just, I'm not understanding it at all. Not understanding at all. Y'all worried about Kanye's anti-Semitic type controversies. You tired of him speaking out about how they uh, are viewing him 
<clears throat> and how less of a time frame he has with his children. I mean, it's almost like the world is raising them. And they don't have a dad involved, which he wants to be involved, which he has publicly stated on several occasions. But y'all, all, not all of y'all, I ain't going to generalize like that. But some of you all think Kim is doing a fabulous job. I'm like, a fabulous job until they get old enough or she feels they're old enough to wear makeup? Is that where we're going with it? Because I don't even think Kim oldest child is 12 years old. I wanted to say maybe she's 8, maybe 10. I may be off the marker, but I don't think I'm that far off. What does she need with? Because her skin is perfect. It should be perfect. It should have all the vitamins, uh, A, E, D, C, all of them thriving because she's a young person. Her skin should already be supple, very soft to touch. And I could see if she wanted to show us how she keeps her skin clean or whatnot uh, to prevent acne. But this child has a whole uh, makeup line she, she's uh, showcasing. And I just find that so detrimental, detrimental for her upbringing. But I don't know. That was just my words, my thoughts. Y'all get out in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all felt about this situation. And of course, you know, I'll see you next video. But make sure you subscribe, share and like the videos, and hit that bell so you'll know when I uh, upload and release new videos. The notification button. button. Thank you. Thank you.